yes guys, 1-0 to Manchester United, Fred scored, Manchester United versus Crystal Palace, decent game, second half was not as good, but we'll get into it now, make sure you like the video, subscribe, turn on post notifications, so you don't miss an upload. So let's start with the lineup. De Gea, Maguire, Lindelof, Delo, Tellez, Fred, McTominay, Sancho, Fernandez, Rashford and Ronaldo. Now for me, after that game's performance, I still want to see Donny come into that team ahead of McTominay. McTominay was average at best in my opinion. Um, Fred was superb, I thought. Fred was brilliant, so it's got to be from now on. Fred and Donny in that midfield pivot, but we're going to focus on some positives today. So first 30 minutes... Well, first half, we pressed the life out of Crystal Palace. That's the best half... That's probably the best bit of football I've seen from Manchester United in a while. Rashford, Bruno, uh, Sanchez... Sa Sanchez, don't want to say that name. Sancho, Ronaldo, Fred and McTominay. They all pressed well. Um, they won the ball back plenty of times. People forget about this, but I think it's Nathal Nathaniel Klein. He should have had a red card on Fred. Now, he literally followed through on the challenge, took his leg out. That should be a red card in my opinion, but Fred goes on to win the game. What a brilliant finish that was. And people would say who knew Fred had that in his locker, but if you watched Fred before we signed him, it's Shaq Tardin-esque. He was more of an attacking player, and he could he could score goals like that. Now, McTominay, I hate to say it, but he's not good enough in my opinion. Um, I did say I was focused on positives, but sometimes... You can focus on the negatives over a positive. And McTominay, he's just average at best, in my opinion. If I, I think I'd give him a six today if I'm generous. Like, six is average for me. And McTominay, he's just not my cup of tea. He's, I don't get what people say on him. He passes backwards too often. He loses the ball. He makes silly fouls. He gave a foul away on the edge of the box, I remember, in the first half. And... It's just frustrating. Now, another player who... Moving on to some positives. A couple players here which impressed me a lot. Lindelof and Delo. They seem to be just different players. Delo never normally got a chance at Dali, so it's, you can't really say that. But Delo was looking... He was attacking while he was defending well. I don't remember any problems being caused. He passed the ball, he moved, overlapped. Just brilliant in my opinion. Lindelof, as well as long balls, is. It's even Lindelof pressing up the pitch high he was brilliant and the thing is with uh, Ragnick everyone's got a clean slate and I think they're all fighting for the place they're all, their career's on the line and a couple, a few players in this team well most of the players in this team apart from McTominay in my opinion deserve to play next game and maybe Rashford as well Rashford was a bit a bit off I don't, I don't know what's wrong with Rashford but for me, I would have bought Greenwood on for Rashford instead of Sancho, but I understand because we had a game midweek and maybe a bit of rotation here and there. But for me, the one change I would make is McTominay out uh, for Donny in. And even the fans were chanting for Donny. They were singing a Donny van der Beek song. And we got to see him. Now, I think the fans kind of changed his mind a little bit because he was warming up Matic to bring on. And Donny came on. But what I did like to see is when he brought Donny on, he he t did take Bruno off, but Donny did play a bit deeper. Now, I don't want to see Donny in Bruno's position. He's, I don't think he's quick enough to play in that position. And I think he gets lost in the game a bit too much. But when he plays in the two, with either Matic or Fred or McTominay, when they've all played next to him, he's looked really good. And he deserves the chance there. Although Ronaldo didn't score today as well, I think Ronaldo had the most chances created for him in a while we had a lot of shots that game the first half especially we were all over Crystal Palace and you could tell the difference in the in the way we were playing and that's a positive moving forward there has to be changes like I've already said but yeah good game to watch um, second half it faded a bit but that is normal because um, the players are not used to playing to playing up to that intensity because we're pressing we're moving the ball fast we're pass and move and, yeah, we've got to give credit to Fred. He's won his that game. Um, but I would I would say individual brilliance goal because it is a good shot, but we worked the move to get there. And I have got one thought in mind, though. One thought. First half, Ragnick was on the sideline. Why is Darren Fletcher on the side? 
he's meant to be a technical director, isn't he? Why is he coaching? That's that's something that got me. And when Ragnick did go and sit down and speak to McKenna and Fletcher, they get it kind of Fletcher was on the sideline for the second half and it kind of made us look worse. It kind of made the second half we were looking a bit like we were under Ollie, which is very confusing. But we got the win. The three points is what matters. Now we build on that. Um, we need to play. Although that was a good game of football, we need to play better. Um, but I I predict that we will play better. Um, I think McTominay needs to go. Not a Man United player. I think Maguire improved today. He looked a lot better, a lot more confident. So did Lindelof. I thought Sancho, he was looking dangerous today. Like he was all over the pitch. He played in a more central role next to Bruno, I reckon. Uh, I think that's a tactic that they made because he was both sides of the pitch. He was passing, moving, creating chances. And his work rate off the ball is brilliant. Like, he tracks back all the way. He he was just all over the pitch, in my opinion. Man of the match. I'm going to give him man of the match two. So before the goal, it was either Delo, um, It was either Delo, Lindelof... And Fred, to be fair. Or, or Sancho. I'm going to give it Fred because he scored the goal. He's. Let's hope he's revived his career at Manchester United. Let's hope he's going to be the player which we signed and thought was going to be amazing for us. I just think to see the best out of Fred, we need to take McTominay out of the team. They don't work together, in my opinion. We, I think I think they worked well together. They didn't work well together today, as, as good as a. They they worked well, but they didn't work as good as other part, partnerships can. Now, whether that's Donny, Pogba or Matic next to him, I think that's it, but it can't be McTominay going on from now. So, 1-0 win. I'm happy with the result. Move on to the next game. Um, we've got to get all the points we can now. We need to close on the top four. And thank you guys for watching. Leave your views and thoughts in the comments. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.